Hi there, welcome back to the new ClickSense tutorial video. And in this video, we were going to look at the get excluded count function. So get excluded fun count function is really helpful when based on the one field selection, you want to take the count from another field whose values are excluded. So in ClickSense, as if you are already using it, you are aware that uh, whenever you make a selection in one field, now there are two scenarios that in the second field or the second filter you will have the values which are associated with the current selection or excluded from the current selection. So let's see what I mean by that and then we will going to get a count of those excluded values. So what do we have is a very simple data where we have the first name initials and has cell phone and their respective values are present over here and they are delimited by pipe so the delimiter pipe is mentioned so what do we do is basically load the data and uh, close it come to analysis and over here let me create a filter just to give it a perspective and what i want is first name and i'll add a dimension and i will add initials all right first of all i'll just click on done and i will remove the filters which probably have selected it earlier so save and come to edit so over here now we have these values so what selection really means is if i'm making a selection over here in jane so whatever those initial values will be over here will have the values select related to the jane and excluded from jane so what do i mean by this is let's see it in the front end so if i click on jane you have these this value j e which is related to jane that's why it is highlighted with white but rest of the values are highlighted with gray so these are excluded count so if you see this is dark gray but over here you have the light gray so light gray is basically the alternative count that means values are available for selection but you have not made the selection but over here these values are exclusive of jane that means the only related value is j and what do we want is basically a count of these values so for example if you are looking at jane and uh, let's say there are some products which are assigned to it and you want to know what are the products which are not assigned or what is the count of product which are not assigned then you can take a count of excluded values similarly if there are territories which are being assigned and out of uh, jane territories you want to see what are the remaining categories count then you can sorry territory count then you can take the territory count. so a lot of use cases that it has because once you go deep into the analysis your users will ask all these sort of information so let's go into the edit mode and see how we can take it so i'll create a kpi for this and add the measure come in the expression editor and uh, what i get is get excluded count and I'll take the excluded count of initials, I and I initials. All right. Okay, where is my cursor? Apply. So excluded count is coming five. One, two, three, four, five. So if I just click on done and come in the front end, and let's say if I select John, then I the count is reduced to four because these are the four values. Similarly, if I select Mark count is reduced to three similarly if i sue then the count is reduced to two so this is how you can basically get the excluded count value but as you can see this is only for a one particular field so that's what you need to specify over here that for initials you want the excluded count now this count can be used in any expression which accepts that or any part of the logic which you are building with the if condition or anything or if set analysis expression you are writing all of the different places you can put this based on the logic that you are trying to build so that's about it for the get excluded count video now i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic